My name is Malin, and in this video I want to talk about what is real, true love. And I've had a lot of experience of what love isn't. My parents split up when I was young and I kind of realised from a really young age that they didn't actually love each other. And that was kind of like, it's a sense of feeling that was deep inside me but I didn't really realise it at the time. And I realised that a lot of people have kind of get into this same trap and it kind of really scares me and frightens me because so many people are just getting into relationships for the sake of it or because they think it's the right thing to do. And there's this kind of this idea around love that it's, you know, it's like this perfect thing. It's like this solution to your life and it's perfect. And it's like your perfect um, partner. And like, you know, it's like the answer to all your problems and it feels your whole and, you know, you, there's like these, all these different terms, you know, soulmates and all these kind of things. And, you know, movies and media kind of propagate a lot of these things. And especially in how our world is at the moment, this view has also degraded quite a bit. You know, there's a lot of hookup culture and that sort of thing, especially with the dating apps. And the problem that I have with that is just think about Tinder. So... What does it consist of? It consists of pictures, it consists of, you know, a, a short information about you. And then it has, you have a lot of access to a lot of people in a really short amount of time. And it gives you access to all sorts of people. And, you know, if you don't fix, if you don't match up with one person, you don't like them, you know, there's, there's lots more. And you can just keep scrolling through this endlessly and endlessly. And this just creates this kind of idea that, you know, love is kind of limitless and like, oh, but this is always the next person. And it just kind of gets you onto the chasing the next high and the next high, you know, the next partner, the next kind of fling, you know, the next thing and oh, this is so great. And then it kind of crashes and burns. And then rather than you actually learning commitment and loyalty, you know, people are just going on to the next person and the next person. And a lot of people, when they do end up in relationships, do it because they're, they're actually kind of insecure. And because it just reinforces their beliefs, they're getting with someone that feeds them back the same kind of beliefs and the same kind of ideas that they think. And they're kind of like, oh, we can just live in this kind of cozy place and like, oh, you're so perfect for me and we're so perfect for each other. And it's, oh, it's all so great. You know, we kind of live in this together. And that's kind of really shallow and conditional because you're not actually living in reality. You're not grounded in what is true and you're not growing you're not actually learning anything you're just kind of stuck in the same cycle and clinging to each other because of you know whether that's your past um experience with other lovers or it's your childhood you know how you grew up and how you learnt love kind of was and what i want to point out is that love is freedom love is able to choose whatever you want to do or able to do whatever you want whether this is a person or a thing and it's choosing to be tied down to something and commit yourself to something, even though you have all these other options. And real love is wanting to pay the price. Real love is loving someone or something despite its flaws, despite the fact that it isn't the most perfect thing, despite the fact that there's a lot of other options. It's like, you still love that thing anyway. You still love that person anyway. And real love kind of exposes things in you. It kind of hurts as much as it is amazing, as much as it feels good. And this pushes us to grow, you know, and as you kind of get pushed to grow, you know, this is, discom this is uncomfortable. This causes a lot of discomfort. And that's what kind of pushes you to grow and become a better person. And then things get better and then you form a deeper bond with that person because you're actually growing and learning as things are going on rather than just kind of sticking with what you know and reinforcing the same kind of beliefs and then you go on to the next person eventually when that kind of cracks and falls apart. A real, a relationship of real and true love deepens you, deepens the relationship and deepens life. It makes your life better. And that's what love should be. It's not this high ideal notion of, oh, everything's perfect and all airy fairy and all this fluff. You know, it can be amazing. I'm not saying that it isn't, you know, like <laughs> we have so much 
around love and romance. You know, so many movies around it, so many poets about it, so many songs about it. So of course it's going to mean a lot to people. Of course it has a lot of significance. But just what I'm saying is that there's a cost to it and it's not as perfect and as and as amazing as it kind of seems, but it makes, it can, if it's done right, it can make you a better person and it can deepen your experience with life, yourself and with other people. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.